Hey, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and you are watching the Playhouse Build Series. In this video, we are installing the truss work for the roof. Hope you enjoy. To get started on the truss installation, I first have to build the porch support, and that's gonna be out of four by fours and a two by six. Let's go ahead and take some measurements and get these cut down. I want my four by four to be from this position here to match the top board up here. So I'm just going to take a measurement and see what I need to cut this board to. 75 inches. Now because a 4x4 is much thicker than a 2x4, it takes a couple of different passes to get through this. Now I can flip over, cut again, and then one more flip, hot to get us through here. To get the 4x4s on the playhouse, I'm going to be using these metal plates. And I just want to arrange these here right on the edge. And then I'm just going to be using some of my 3 inch screws here. I ran out of 3.5, but 3 inch should be sufficient here. Now it's time to get the 4x4 into position. I'm going to set that into the metal box here. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get a, a screw ready to go in there. Now I wanna use my level to make sure that the post is gonna be in a good position here. All right, right there ought to be good. Once again, I'm gonna get a screw ready to go into the next hole there. And then use the level once again, just to make sure we're in the right spot. Yes. Okay, and now I can go around here and fill in the rest of the screw holes on both sides to make sure it's gonna be nice and secure. Now it's time to get the two by six installed onto the four by four. To do that by myself, I'm going to get this kind of in position and then use a clamp here and that should really help to support this thing. So I'm just going to put a clamp here, not on the board, just at the board. And that way I can use this to support the other side as I'm installing it. I'm gonna move this down into position. I want it to be level with the top of the four by four. And now I'm just going to use a single screw to keep this in place. Now I can swap over to the other side and level that up. I have a couple of 8 foot 2 by 4s that are going to be spanning the gap between the playhouse and this outer support here. It's going to be kind of a, a ridge cap, or a top plate I should say. And so I just want to start from the back side over here and get this screwed in so that I know my front will be eight foot. Okay, so I just want to match this up here on the end and get it screwed in. Now stepping up here to the front, I'm gonna line up these four by fours with the two by four and get this put together. Now to wrap up the top plate, I need to measure the back and front of the building. Now in a perfect world, these two would be the same measurements, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit off on my build. So let's see what we got here for the back of the building. 
89 inches. Let's see how well I did on cutting this one. Pretty tight there. That's the way we like it. Okay, go ahead and use my impact driver to put some screws in here. Now it's time to get the trusses installed. To do that, I'm gonna be using an H1 clip. This thing will sit on top of the top plate and you screw it in or nail it and the trusses will come through here and sit at the proper angle. Now I'm gonna be using screws on this. I know some people, professional builders, are gonna be upset about that, but it's gonna be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed here onto the top plate. I know the angle's terrible and you can't really see much from there, but what I'm gonna do is take a tape measure from the very end and I'm going to mark out every two feet. So just mark it close to the back side. The H1 clip can be used on either the front or the back of your uh, top plate. And so I'm gonna be using it on the back because it's going to uh, better grab on to that, uh, that two by four. I'm just gonna be using two inch screws here. Now I know you won't be able to see this, but I'm gonna take the H1 clip and set it down in here so that this uh, little U shape here straddles the center of that to mark. And then I'm just gonna use my drill to get these installed here. And I'll show you what it looks like on the back side in just a minute. Let me show you what this looks like here. So as you can see, it just uh, straddles the two plates there and has the U for the truss to go into. I had to make a slight modification to get this to work properly. I had the two by six installed here on the inside. I had to move it on to the outside so that it would be flush with the top plate here. And so that's all I have done is uh, move it to the outside on the front here. And I have the H1 clips installed just like on the back of the playhouse. And now it's time to finally get the trusses installed on the roof here. Now these things don't weigh very much, but they can swing down and give you a pretty good headache. So just be careful when you're putting them up. I'm just going to slide this into position here. If it helps, you can swing it down like this just to uh, help you hold it up there while you get ready. I'm gonna be using a bucket to stand on. Give me a little extra lift here. But uh, basically you're just going to line up those H1 clips and slide this into position. Now I want six inches on both sides, so let's use a tape measure and line this up. I can already tell I have too much on this back side here. Yeah, it's nine and a half inches, so I need to push that in some. It's not too easy because those H1 clips do an excellent job at holding these things in. On these H1 clips, there are five different holes three on one side and two on the other. And uh, there are specialty uh, nails that you're supposed to use on this. I'm gonna be using some one and a quarter Torx head screws. And uh, remember this is just a playhouse, so it's gonna be okay.
And there we have it. All five trusses are installed here, as you can see. And they're looking quite nice. Now you notice that it spans over the wall here, and that's because there's going to be two by fours that come up and attach to the truss there. And uh, there will be an outside wall here that goes up to the truss there and uh, finishes off the inside. So this in here will kind of be a uh, porch space. So it will definitely close off in here. And also, the trusses are just kind of sitting in here loose. There's gonna be blocking between uh, one truss and the next. And also, if we step down here below the playhouse, you will remember or recall that we built two more trusses that only had a plate on one side. And that is because we're going to be installing something called a ladder or uh, I think box maybe. But uh, anyway, it's gonna be on the outside and it's gonna come out about six inches from the edge there and just kind of give us an eave space. Um, so, but that's gonna be in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, do tune in for the next one where we get the blocking installed uh, and also the ladders on the edge. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.